How you doing? This could be your last week. So um, I don't think he was willing to, to sell that property to her at this time. 
Um, but she does have access through me. Okay. Any questions, any discussions from the board at this time? Is there anyone here that would like to present any additional information? Um, I would. Please come to the lectern. Please give us your name and address for the record. Um, my name is Carolyn Taylor. I am the applicant. Um, I, uh, it is my desire to sell this piece of property and I did not know until we started with this that it would be impossible to sell it with the 25 foot easement as the easement did not exist at all until the previous owner deeded it to his eight children in early 88 and that's when the easement was actually put there because the land would have been deadlocked had he not, you know, put the easement in the deeds uh, whenever he cut it up and did it to his eight children. So that's when the easement originally came into existence. And as it turned out in 89, LC and I wound up with the piece of property on the left, which belonged to one of the sons, and the property on the right of the easement, which belonged to one of the other sons, Tim and uh, Jeff Brown. And as it goes back toward the toward the back of the property, it just more or less, the easement just kind of dead ends. And then we obtained a nine acre track down in the woods behind the house, which basically is just holding the world together. It's just nine acres of swamp. So that's, the easement just kind of dead ends into that piece of property. But um, we, the buyer did have the um, land resurveyed, um, and it has been resurveyed now into a complete one plat, which I think has been turned in uh, to you all. Okay. Um, Cody okay. Kay is the one that has now surveyed it, and it is in one plat. And, I did speak with him yesterday and he said that has been completed and turned in. Okay. Uh, but also, <clears throat> I contacted um, five of the surrounding landowners and I do have their signatures stating that they did not object to this application for the 25 foot easement, I would like to present them to you. We will make that part of the minutes. Thank okay. you. <coughs> um, so, I just, I would like to sell this piece of property. The uh, buyer is here. Um, and uh, Mr. Newcomb and uh, his wife, Beth, are here. They actually own a piece of property that is here. and. Mr. Howell is here, and I don't believe that they have any objections to this. So, um, if you all have any further questions for me, I will be glad to answer them. Any questions, any discussion from the board at this time? Thank you, Ms. Taylor. Is there anyone else who would like to speak in support, or does anyone have any other information that you feel like we should take under advice? Yes, ma'am. Could I get your name and address for the record? My name is Beth Newcomb, and I live in town now. Uh, the address is 4616 Foxborough Avenue. Mm -hmm. And the property with the easement on it is I own that property. And when Daddy divided the property, like has been said, um, it was recorded. And, um, you know, we haven't talked, so I just wanted to let you know that as the owner of the property for the easement goes through, I am here if you need questions. Okay. Thank you very much. Is there anyone else here in support? Yes, sir. Jeff Bush, 
36 of Lake U.S. Highway 41 on the potential buyer for the property. Yeah. And uh, just to let y'all know, uh, which I pawned the hand on all on it now, but all I want to do is uh, thank you my little farm for my family. All right, sir. I mean, that's the only plan that I have. All right, sir. Thank you. Is there anyone here in opposition to this request? Is there anyone here that has a question about what is being requested? Was there any contact to your office, Carmelo? Yes, sir. Okay. Any further questions, discussions from the board at this time? I have motion to approve the presented TRC's recommendation. I have motion from Scott Ornstein to grant the request as presented per the TRC. Second. I have second from Ms. Gaskins. All in favor, please raise a hand. Unanimous. Good luck with it, Ms. Taylor. Hope everything works out. Thank y'all very much. You're welcome. And we, we have got to find something to do here now to make up more time so that we can earn our own. Uh, you know, I feel, I feel terrible, terrible if you can check I have two requests on next month. I know it wouldn't be that much if you went out that way. Next week she's going to ask for that property. Next week she's going to call that property. Is this this lady on all the property? Okay, we have minutes. I did not see anything in the minutes as far as corrections. Did anybody else see something I might have missed? Can I get a motion to accept the minutes as presented? A motion. I have a motion from who was that? Dr. Housel? I have a motion from Dr. Housel to accept the minutes. Do I get a second? Second this hobby. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous, thank you very much. Do we have any kind of new business, old business, anything we need to talk about? Yes, Mr. Chair, I'll place a letter at your seat. Um, that's just a letter um, supporting Dr. Howell and Ms. Portman's reappointment, county appointments to the um, CBOA. And I thank you. <laughs> Are they qualified? I <laughs> so, <laughs> so it'll be on the county commission's agenda either this upcoming meeting or their second meeting in May. I know their agenda for next week is pretty full, cool. so they may move appointments to their second meeting. To the best of my knowledge, we've got Mr. Strickland's reappointment to the five city council for consideration this week. Do you know that? I called the verified to make sure that your application was turned in. <laughs> Okay, anything else? New business, old business? Anybody on the board got anything we need to talk about? Um, not on the record. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attendance at the short meeting. We stand adjourned. Okay, you are now off the clock. Maybe this is my last meeting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Maybe this is my last meeting. I hope it is your last meeting because that's what you want, but not because we're. Richard, we're going to miss you.